So Kanye West issues stark warning to Kourtney Kardashian, alleges Kim Kardashian's plot to ruin her marriage with Travis Barker. That's where I get, you know, frustrated. It's like, let that go. Let this person do what you made mistakes on. In a dramatic turn of events, Kanye West has reportedly taken Kourtney Kardashian's side in a brewing family feud, issuing a chilling warning about the alleged intentions of his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian. Sources close to the situation reveal that Kanye has cautioned Kourtney against the possibility of Kim Kardashian attempting to sabotage her happily married life with Travis Barker. According to insider accounts, Kanye West believes that Kim Kardashian may be plotting to disrupt Kourtney and Travis's marriage by pursuing a romantic entanglement with Travis, citing their past history together. Allegations suggest that Kim and Travis Barker share a complicated past, with claims of clandestine dating during Travis's relationship with Paris Hilton, while Kim served as Paris's assistant. The allegations gain further credence with accusations from Travis Barker's ex-wife, Shanna Mochler, who has publicly accused Travis of infidelity with Kim Kardashian during their marriage. Kanye West's warning to Courtney underscores his concerns about Kim's alleged intent and the potential threat they pose to Courtney's marital happiness. The brewing conflict within the Kardashian-Jenner family has sent shockwaves through Hollywood, with fans and observers captivated by the unfolding drama. As tensions escalate between Kim and Courtney, Kanye's intervention adds a new dimension to the feud, raising questions about loyalty, trust, and the complexities of family dynamics in the spotlight. So, if you've been keeping up with the Kardashians' drama from the last season, then you'll know that there was some serious tension brewing between Kim and Courtney, and it got really bad at certain points. But in case you'd been living under a rock and somehow missed the drama, Courtney felt like Kim was trying to steal her spotlight because of the collaboration she did with Dolce & Gabbana right after Kearney's wedding. Yeah, it was kind of giving a copycat, or at least that's how Courtney saw it because Kim has strongly denied copying Courtney's wedding or trying to steal her shine. Yeah, so this is how it all went down. Kim teamed up with Dolce & Gabbana just four months after Courtney's wedding, and people believed believe that there were some similarities between the wedding and the Dolce & Gabbana event. Kim, however, denied any wedding copycatting, and she even claimed that she made it clear to Dolce & Gabbana that she wouldn't touch anything related to Courtney's wedding out of sheer respect. I thought I was being like actually really mindful. I didn't pick, there were so many collections that I wanted to do, like I would have done something from the Madonna collection, but she wore something at her wedding. So I said, don't do any of that. Don't do, don't do any of the lace that she wore at her wedding. However, Courtney really didn't believe any of that because she felt like Kim was not happy for her during the wedding. And that's why she was trying to steal the shine and take the attention away from her. I wasn't happy at my wedding. Everyone else was like, whoa, this is amazing. We're having the best time. She could never like give acknowledgement. Well, Kim felt Courtney was being kind of a hypocrite. And then she claimed that Courtney had stolen her entire wedding. In Italy. Am I saying you copied me by getting married in Italy? Who performed at my wedding? Andrea Bocelli. Who performed at Courtney's wedding? Andrea Bocelli. You stole my wedding country and my wedding performer. Andrea Bocelli is my favorite male singer of all time but I'm copying her Dolce Vita lifestyle. Now, accusing somebody for stealing your wedding country is the type of conversation that most of us just can't relate to, but it just makes the situation even more interesting. It was all just very sad, and the drama between them was the main plotline for the entire season. But Kim eventually apologized to Courtney, and they both agreed to put the drama behind them. For you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my choices put us in this situation. I'm happy for the experience, but I'm sad and sorry that that experience hurt you because that's not what I would ever want to do or ever want to make you feel that way. And I'm yeah. sad that like me choosing to do this would like hurt you or our relationship. Well, we had all hoped that that was the last we would hear about the situation and that they would just patch things up. I mean, their sisters and sisters fight all the time. Then they make up after the fight. Plus, they had both apologized and said they were going to try to move on from it. So that should have been the end, right? Well, no, not exactly. Fast forward to the latest season of The Kardashians, and not only is the drama not over, but it has also escalated. And at this point, it looks like him and Courtney are stuck in a never-ending feud that just keeps getting worse and worse. 
others. Happy for me. You couldn't be happy that I was the center of attention and you weren't. What you is it that you feel you so low of me? If you'd like to. No, I want you to dig deep and figure out why you why you hate me so much. And- In the premiere episode of this new season, the tension between Kim and Courtney boiled over during a heated phone call, and it did not go well at all. It turns out that Courtney still believes that Kim was hating on her at the wedding, and she brought it up again. Like, yeah, their sister Laban might be on hold for now because it's starting to look like this feud might just keep escalating and escalating until it all blows up in everybody's face. But it got worse because Kendall last started Courtney saying that every Everyone talked about Courtney behind her back, and that they had a group chat literally named Not Courtney where they all talked to her. Why all this is just really sad between two sisters. Your friends call us complaining whether you think they're the ones going to you. They're all coming to us on the side saying the opposite to us. So we're all confused and we're on a group chat that's actually labeled Not Courtney. So we know and have to funnel what your friends are saying to us. There's a lot to unpack here. And the thought of your family and friends being in a group chat where they talk crap about you is going to hurt any anybody. So Courtney was understandably upset. People felt like Kim was way out of line to say that to Courtney, and it got even messier, because Kim also kind of hinted that Courtney's own kids talk about her behind her back, and this caused Courtney to have a breakdown. Yeah, this is just all very wrong of Kim to bring up Courtney's kids in this situation, because it was very just unnecessary. Well, fans are definitely splits over this drama, because some fans are Team Kim saying that Courtney's just being overly sensitive and needs to chill, but others are firmly in Courtney's corner, thinking Kim's been low-key throwing shade ever since she got with Travis, and Courtney was totally justified in calling her out on it. Well, Kim's ex Kanye just jumped into the chat and gave his two cents, and according to some insiders, Kanye's taking Courtney's side on this one. So it looks like Kanye believes that Kim deliberately liked to push Courtney's buttons behind the scenes and then flip the script to make herself look like the victim. Now, we all know that Kim and Kanye's divorce has been nothing short of chaotic, but they've toned things down in the past year or so. But even though they're no longer taking jabs at each other on social media, there's still some tension between them, especially because Kanye is now married to Bianca's sensory. Word on the street is that Kanye believes that Kim is jealous of his marriage to Bianca, just like she's jealous of Courtney's marriage to Travis. An insider added that Kanye believes that the reason Kim is so jealous of Courtney is that Courtney is currently living the life that Kim has always dreamed of. Kanye believes that Kim has an obsession with the spotlight because she loves being the center of attention. When she's not getting the limelight, she just gets upset. Now, this isn't a new thing. I mean, Courtney's been spilling the tea on how Kim's been treating her for ages, and apparently it's been going on for too long, which might explain why Courtney's not super excited to film the show anymore. She revealed this in an interview where she said, I think it started at the end of season 14, a lot of tension building between between us. I felt like every day almost. I was being picked on and criticized. I just couldn't take it anymore. Now, Kanye also pointed out how Kim has been trying to outshine Courtney and create some sort of competition ever since her relationship with Travis started getting more and more serious. For example, when everyone was celebrating Courtney at her proposal party, Kim made a weird comment about how their mom, Chris, was happier for Courtney than she was during any one of Kim's three proposals. I feel like that for me, and it's happened like a few times. Apparently, <laughs> that's really true. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And while the world was still buzzing about Courtney's epic proposal and how adorable she and Travis were, Kim decided to go public with her new romance with comedian P. Davidson. And Kanye believes that she was just trying to steal some of Courtney's spotlight. And Kim and P. didn't waste any time because they were spotted together on a roller coaster ride, and before you knew it, they confirmed that they were an item. But here's the kicker from day one, it has been pretty obvious that this was just a PR relationship. They seem to have nothing in common. If fans were on to Kim, Kim's game right away, calling her out for trying to overshadow Courtney's moment in the limelight and she got dragged for it. Well then, Kanye confirmed what some fans were saying about Kim feeling jealous about Courtney getting married and living a great married life with her husband. Because that's one thing that Kim wants very badly. This has caused so much drama that Courtney eventually came to the decision to distance herself from Kim. She explained this last year when she went on the I Not Skinny But Not Fat podcast. However, Courtney's attempt to distance herself from the drama didn't put an end to the chaos because it only got worse and worse. According to yet another insider, Courtney knew that Kim might start up some drama when Courtney got pregnant and he had a suspicion from the moment Courtney and Travis announced that they were having a baby. He believed that the reason Kim was feeling so jealous was that Courtney was living the life Kim wanted, 
and that seemed to get under Kim's skin. This explains why Kim would choose the not-so-nice comments to Courtney about people talking behind her back. But this is where the tea gets juicy, because Courtney herself stepped in to debunk Kim's statements about her friends being in some not Courtney group chat. She came prepared with receipts posting screenshots from their own group chat, where her friends were nothing but supportive. They even wanted to launch a Yes Courtney group chat to support her. She also replied to fans asking about the group chat, saying, Members of the chat are namely Kim, Chloe, Kendall, and Kylie. Case closed. My friends are ride or dies. Well, Kanye is totally on Courtney's side and thinks that Kim's jealousy is the main reason for this drama, and she is clearly trying to paint Courtney as the villain so she can get some pity from fans, even if it means that Courtney's image might be ruined in the process. Well, these Kardashian streets have been talking about this and fans are split. They left some mixed comments saying, I don't follow the show, but I will say that Courtney said, I don't need you guys, presumably family anymore. And Kim spent the next 60 seconds planting seeds of doubt in the rest of her support system by saying Courtney's friends and kids betrayed her to Kim. Heinous, for real. Kim is so jealous and toxic, Courtney seems to be the only one who can see this. That's why why Courtney takes none of her ish. Imagine being that narcissistic and self-centered to make your sister think her friends are in an anti courtney group. Kim lies and gaslights, and Courtney is a professional victim. She started that call negatively, and when Kim kept the same energy, she started crying. The bottom line is, she's jealous of Kim and always has been. Listen, this situation between two family members, I mean sisters, is crazy. But I gotta know what y'all think about this drama. Do you believe, Kanye, that Kim is trying to ruin Courtney out of jealousy, or do you think that there was more to this than we know? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and then check out this next video.